G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. And today I want to make a topic, I guess, about my passion, which is Christmas. And being that I am Australian, but currently in America, I want to share with you, I guess, what it's like having Christmas in Australia. And especially in comparison to is Australian Christmas really like what you see on Bluey for Christmas Swim? Christmas Swim! Yeah! Hey cheeky dogs, future Margie here. You might have noticed that I look a little bit different in this. This video was originally over on my second channel, Mixed and Nerdy, but because it's to do with Bluey, I thought it belonged over here on Aussie Girl Margie. So I hope you enjoy it. I wanted to do something to celebrate happy healer days that we've been doing here on my channel with 31 days of Bluey content for all of December. And of course, it's coming up to Christmas, so we should definitely talk about the episode Christmas. Christmas swim. So I guess the major difference, first of all, is of course the seasons. We're on the other side of the planet in Australia, so Christmas for us is in dead center of summer. It is hot, it is sunny, it is bright, just like you see on Bluey in the episode Christmas Swim. There's always usually gorgeous weather. Where I'm from in Townsville, sometimes it gets a little bit cloudy, we might get a bit of rain because we're also heading into rainy season. But honestly, every Christmas I've ever had was bright, sunny and hot, which means that yeah, we typically will have fans on and the aircon on as well, because it's for us about maybe 30 degrees, which translates to maybe like 90, 85 to 90 ish degrees. Fahrenheit in America. So yeah, the opening scene in Bluey Christmas Swim where they're all sitting around in the lounge room, they've got the fans blasting. That's very typical. I do find it funny that they have like a fireplace on on the TV to make it feel like it's warm and cozy. I used to do this all the time whenever we would have like family dinners or we were trying to be like fancy because yeah, we don't really have fireplaces in Australia. We don't need them, especially in Queensland where it's super hot. Now in the episode, we see the kids opening up all their presents and their pool toys, which yeah, again, is pretty spot on for a Christmas in Australia. Growing up, I used to always get new swim gear, new pool toys, new goggles, basically anything that we could use for the middle of summer. Usually the next day, Boxing Day, we would go down to the beach, or if you were at someone's house for Christmas Day, you would do a Christmas swim, just like the name of the episode. So for myself, this was always like a very typical part of the day. You would go to someone in your family's house who had a pool usually, and you would use all your new pool toys and you would go swimming and it just really made for like the perfect atmosphere for Christmas. So for me, that is definitely an Aussie tradition that I think is pretty spot on with the show. Now in the pool, of course, you're playing your typical pool games, which I think are also very common no matter what country you're in. The show shows a game called Classic Catches where you have to try and catch the tennis ball without landing, or before you land in the pool, I should say. I never played this growing up. I think this is just the show's funny way of like making a dog reference, but I want to try this out as a game now and I probably will once we hit summer here in America. You also see one of the characters has like a classic Australian flag pool towel. Interestingly enough, I only ever used like the Australian towel on Australia Day, which is also in the summer, but it's in January on January 26th. It's a little bit later on. But I do love that the show sort of shows that, yeah, we do also have like flagged towels and we also have our pride and while we might not put a flag out the front of our house like you would normally in America, we show it in different sorts of ways in Australia. Now, the episode shows like a little bit of a sneak peek into the kitchen and some of the food that we might have traditionally on Christmas. I love they bring up the topic of gravy, whether to make it from a packet or a real gravy. And I think it's pretty spot on. Grandparents traditionally will always want to do like the real gravy using the juices from the turkey or the chicken and adding in the flour and making it on the stove, whereas you know, it is also pretty easy just to make it from a packet too. So I love that they hinted at that. And you might see like these little pies next to them. So for us, usually pies are savory. So meat pies are very typical in Australia, but on Christmas day and around the Christmas period, fruit pies or mince pies made from like fruit meat, fruit meat, I guess. Different types of fruit is usually what we have traditionally for Christmas. It's also a very like British UK kind of tradition too. Now I love that in the show, they have Uncle Rad and Frisky calling in from Bali. Again, this is also very spot on for Christmas in Australia. A lot of people will tend to go overseas to Bali, which is like just above Australia and Indonesia. The flights are crazy cheap. It's also a really fun like vacation. You're on your summer holiday Day, so you have loads of time off. So yeah, this is also really typical. I used to have lots of friends who would go over to Bali and spend their Christmas and New Year's over there, which for me was really sad because my birthday is Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. So I could never have a party with all my friends. I'd have to have it later on in the year. But I do love that they reference that families do go to Bali very often, especially around this time of year. Now we see sort of a glimpse at like the pork and the crackling. Oh, 
It's crackling. Oh, really? Which again, I think is also a very like traditional kind of family meal. And um, some families will do this, or they might do a roast, or they might do lamb. But pork and crackling, I feel, is very Christmas or Christmas Eve type dishes for us. And they kind of reference the idea of like family getting together and talking about politics. It's not as bad as what it is in America where it's very divided, I would say. In Australia, we have a totally different political system. You're not stuck in one alley. You can switch which ones. You also have to vote. It's a whole thing. But yeah, you know, maybe this conversation might come up, but I feel like in Australia, when you talk about politics, it's not as divisive or people don't get as angry about it really as they do in America. Now going back to the food, this is probably one of my favorite things to talk about with my friends here in America is the differences in our food at Christmas time because yeah, again, it's summer, it's hot. And while we still wanna have like those traditional hot foods, like you can see on the table, they've got like a, a baked ham. They also have the pork and crackling. It's summer, so we also have salads and seafood. Seafood is a really big part of our Christmases. So prawns and oysters or mussels, that is like a really big part of like a Christmas day dish because it's the middle of the day. So you want kind of cold food as well to balance everything out. And so probably one of the most common things I think that I've seen on like Bluey Facebook groups and mum Facebook groups is everyone asking, what is it that they're pulling? What are these paper crowns on their head? Basically, these are Christmas crackers. And I didn't realize that this was not a worldwide tradition. And I have spent Christmas in multiple countries. So for us, this is like a absolute, you must have these Christmas Eve for the dinner and for lunch. Whenever you're with your family at the Christmas time, you have Christmas crackers. So basically it's just like cardboard wrapped up in Christmas paper. Inside is a stick that when you pull it from each end, it'll break and pop. So sometimes they're called poppers as well. And then inside each one is usually a paper crown, a bad joke and like, a not so great toy, like really little plastic one, but it is so much fun. You do it with the person next to you, whoever wins and gets to keep like the big part, gets to put everything on. So that's why everyone has different paper colored crowns on their head. You see the mum in the show, Chili, reading out a joke and kind of laughing at it. And yeah, you usually get like a really dodgy toy as well. And at the very end, you see them sort of having some drinks. Usually in Australia, I would say like ginger beer and ginger ale is a very common like Christmas drink that we would have, as well as for parents, yeah, wine, champagne, Bundaberg rum and coke, those kind of different things. That's all very Aussie and very traditional. But overall, I think the show Bluey and this episode specifically, Christmas Swim, is pretty spot on for a Queenslander Aussie Christmas. When I watched this episode, I felt like I was at home straight away. It was absolutely perfect. And I just really loved being able to explain it and show it to you guys and yeah, show you what an Aussie Christmas kind of looks like. If you haven't checked out the show, definitely go and do it. I could not recommend it enough as a parent. It is so, so good. To the point where me and my husband have watched it without our son multiple times. That's how good it is. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. And of course, guys, a merry, merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year. I hope everyone is having a fantastic lead up to Christmas so far. Don't forget to like if you liked this video as well, but you're not subscribed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. We have our own Christmas book out on Amazon as well. Link for that will be down below. Thanks for watching, cheeky dogs. I picked out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I'll see you all in another video. Mwah. Bye.